growing persimmons from seed. These are some of the beautiful persimmons growing in our neighborhood. And today I'm going to show you how to grow persimmons from seed. You want to make sure that when you grow persimmons that you grow several of them because only the female persimmon trees provide fruit and need male and females to get cross-pollination. Before we continue with this video, I want to take a quick moment to thank all of you for watching. And if you haven't already done so, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Support our channel and you'll help support our growing dreams. We appreciate all of you. So thank you for being here. It is persimmon season in our area. It is the end of September. And if you would like to locate persimmon trees in your area, this is the time to start looking for them because they are changing colors. These are American persimmons, which are native to our area in Northeast Florida. We are currently in zone 9B and you can find these everywhere if you look. Most people think of persimmon trees as just another weedy tree that's in the way. Let's take it down if we can. But if you're anything like me, and I suspect you are since you're here, you are gonna love finding one of these in your community. So if you're looking for persimmons, look in wet area, near ditches, near woodlands, in the outskirts of woodlands, kind of where elderberry likes to grow. But yes, these are persimmons, American persimmons, and today I'm gonna show you how to grow them from seeds, uh, as well as other persimmons, if you could find some that actually have seeds in them. I'm gonna zoom out here so you can see a little bit of where these persimmons are growing. And please excuse the noise, we are in America and it is just a normal occurrence to have surveillance flights at top. Please excuse the noise. It keeps on coming, circling around. Maybe I should go and get indoors. But hey, I'm out showing you how to make the bottle a little greener and I'm just gonna have to get it done. So let's take a look at the leaves. Here you can see the persimmon leaves, what they look like. They are actually quite similar to the Mexican button bush. And sometimes we have a hard time differentiating. So look at how the leaves are not across from each other. That is one of the ways that you can distinguish them. And then I always say the best time to figure out whether a tree is a female or male is when it's fruiting season. Because when you grow persimmons, you need to have both male and females nearby each other. And that's why we always recommend to grow several persimmon trees because you won't really know in the beginning whether they are female or male. Look at this. Here you can see what it looks like. Let us zoom out a little bit here. Let me go back. You can see there are actually plenty of them in here. Lots of them do not have fruits in them. And then we have some, like this one right here, that is just loaded with fruit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on that. There you go, you see the fruit. Unfortunately, we cannot get our hands on those, so that will be for nature. And it is probably the reason why there are so many persimmon trees around here. They drop in the water or at the side and animals eat them and that is how we're gonna get more. This one has dropped. This persimmon is about ready to be picked. And you can see the other one right there is not.
Just twist it and pull. Uh oh. Can you get that without getting wet? Careful. That one was so ready that it fell off immediately. There you go. One ripe American persimmon. Let's bring it home. Here are some of the American persimmons that we got off the tree. And I wanted to show you we left them inside for a few days just because we have tried to eat them when they look like this. Just don't do it. Your tongue will not be happy. You want to wait until they're about this texture, this color right here. I'm going to try to open one up and I'm actually going to try to eat it. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to grow American persimmons from seed. And yes, you can grow other persimmon varieties from seed this exact way if, and here's the caveat, if they have seeds because not all persimmons have seeds. So you'll just have to give it a try. And sometimes you can get lucky to get a seed in one of those persimmons that not, do not necessarily have seeds. Let's see if we can open one of these up. I rinsed it and I'm gonna do a little taste test. Ooh, see when they open like this. This looks good. This looks really good. Let's see if there's any seeds in here. I feel like I see one in here. One in the side. Yeah. See, the American persimmons, they have seeds in them. And for some people, they're annoying. To other people, they're an opportunity. Let's clean them up a little bit. I'm going to try to eat this persimmon right here. Mmm, yes. That is how it's supposed to taste. Nice and sweet. Yeah. I see another seed right here. American persimmons truly are delicious once they're ripe. Another one here. But yes, they have seeds in them. You know, this is how it was in the old days. And sometimes going back in time is not a bad thing. But these days, we people have become quite. Picky. You can see the delicious flesh right here, ready to be eaten. And you can eat the skin. It's delicious. I'm going to give some of these to the chickens, but I'm, first I'm going to dig out some more. See, there's another way you can see that they're definitely ready to eat when the little green parts are coming off. But it's not always foolproof. See this one? It's still stuck. Don't even touch it. This one I wouldn't touch either. Not to eat at least. I'm going to take it and get the seeds out of there, but I'm not going to eat it. This one is ready to eat, but I'm going to give it to chickens. The chickens love them. And in nature, we get more persimmon trees, and we have lots of them around here because the animals eat them, and then they poop out the seeds. That is how we get more persimmons. Chicken food. Let's open this one. This is just how it is when you're a gardener. You have dirty hands, but I am sure you know all about that. So I'm not even going to apologize for it because many gardeners prefer to get dirty feet, fingers rather than wearing gloves. Okay, all these seeds we're getting out. Chicken food. Sometimes we actually just feed these persimmons directly to chickens and hey, we have persimmons popping up the compost. That is just a wonderful surprise. But today I'm going to use all these seeds just so I can show you what we do. Now see, this one is definitely not ripe. I just want to show you. See? Some difference. Big difference, right? No gooeyness about it. I guess I can use the seed though. I'm not gonna take it go. It's not one right here. Let's 
so this one is also not ready yet it's a little softer and you can cut into it but I wouldn't dare put it in my mouth sometimes you just gotta experiment to see when you should do it or not but yeah I wouldn't I have learned my lesson and so have the kids but persimmons when they're ripe oh man they're just so good there we go. We have some seeds here. Let me see if I can mince those off. I'm going to give some persimmons to the chickens here and mince the seeds off. The easiest thing to do is when seeds off inside in the sink, you know, strain out, but I'm outside. I have to start to do most of my gardening outside because I make a lot of mess. So I'm going to try to see if I can clean this off a little bit. Put some of the fish off. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the more fish you can get it off, the less room for moles goes. And this water, I'm going to go get to the chickens too. Oops, I can't start a couple of these seeds that just popped out. I'll do that back. Just this water to the chickens. So many nutrients, we don't waste them. I'm going to do it again. The juice is so sweet that the bees are buzzing right above the bowl. I lost a persimmon seed. Do you guys see that? I'm going to have to see if I can track it down. Otherwise, we'll probably just... Oh, I lost the second one. Yeah, well, maybe this is one of those things for you. Do what I say and not what I do. There's still some flesh left on here. You can use a knife if you want to, but really you don't have to. You know. If you watch me by now, I'm a lazy gardener. I'm not too fussy about things like this. As long as I have enough seeds, some will take. See this flesh right here? It's fine. Just swooping up. Alright, let's move on to the next step. Let's see. We have a bag right here with some soil in. This is just some organic household soil for household plants that I use it. But you can use anything you usually use. Just take these persimmon the seeds, put in here. Make sure the growing materials are moist, but not wet. Close it up. Make sure you have the name on there because you will forget what's in there. And then mix them up a little bit. Try to see if you can cover them up. There we go. That should be good. And then you leave them in the fridge for at least three months. I just usually leave them in there all winter. But I try to get them out before they start sprouting. If they start sprouting, don't worry about it. You can still plant them out. I'm going to find the pot. See what I do. So simple because if you're lazy gardener like me and you are in a colder zone and even here in zone 9b you can just put persimmon seeds directly in a pot cover them up and leave them all outside all winter and you will very likely get persimmon seedlings in the spring that's what we're going to do because i'm running out of space in the fridge there's no pot i'm just going to take these seeds Mix them in. I will add some composted wood chips and just spread them around a little bit. Make sure they're... I don't like these big wood chips and I want to take them out. Put some small stuff on top of it. I usually just cover it with about an inch, two centimeters. Water, but you can 
water if you want to. Cover it up. Make sure nothing can be seen. And finally, just like with our how to grow peaches from seed video, how to grow palm trees from seed, how to grow mango from seed, we prefer to cover up our seeds with milk crate. There we go. Now the critters can't get in there. And our persimmon seeds will be left alone until they start sprouting and then they just leave them alone. And that's what we want. Now, if you don't have a milk crate, you can also use a piece of hardback cloth. I only have a little piece here. But that could work just like that. That should prevent it, or if you have a big one, even better. Anything you can use to cover it, even an old bike wheel might be a solution. See? We will not have any squirrels going in there. Yeah? Sometimes you gotta get creative. Whatever works for you, that's what you're gonna use. Use what you have. No need to go out and spend any money on anything. This is how you're gonna grow persimmons from seed. And these will start showing up as seedlings sometime in the spring and don't forget a plant tag of course if you have a permanent plant tag which i do somewhere please put a permanent plant tag in there because something like this is not going to last forever i'm just going to put it in there temporarily because i know i made the permanent plant tags already i just got to figure out where i put them we are in a bit of a moving mess but much more about that later just um keep an eye on the channel we're gonna have some new very soon. Persimmons are slow growers. These are three year old persimmons that are grown from seeds. So get started. This is the year when you are going to get started with growing persimmons from seed. They like shade, part shade, a little bit of sun, but where we find them in nature, they like to grow in parts that do not get a lot of sun. Quite often, where elderberries grow but are not producing very well. That's where you'll find lots of persimmons. Here is an older persimmon that we grew from seed. I'm not even sure how old it is. But you can see that the leaves are beginning to look bad because persimmon trees are deciduous. They will come back beautiful in the spring. So don't be afraid if you get some seedlings going and they're doing really well and then all of a sudden you can't find them. It's just because they lost the leaves. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe and hit the save button so you can come back and watch this video later when you're ready to grow your own persimmons from seed. And why not share this video with your plant loving friends? Whenever you do, it helps us grow. And when our channel grows, it also helps us in our Dancy Tree Top's mission of making the world a little greener. So we thank all of you for watching and thank you for making the world a little greener with us.